Hello YouTube, today we'll be doing a review on the Harry Potter Spells app. It's pretty new, so let's open that up. Loads for a little bit. It's got that cool intro for Warner Brothers. And it's got this interesting title screen here. When I first opened up this app, I didn't I thought it would just go to the next page, but you've got to tap the screen. It says that. And then it opens up here. You've got learn, practice, dual, house points, options, and more games. So in learn, learn just teaches you some spells. So here, here's a little homora. Now since you have to move it around, I'll zoom out a little bit. Here. Lesson. So the way you cast a spell is it starts detecting you're casting it when you push down on the screen. So here I'll show And you have to get three, three or more casts to correctly open the spell. So once you pass, you unlock the next spell. Now it starts out pretty easy, but as you get to other ones like Expecto Patronum or Confundo, it's pretty hard because it's not clear. Like it gives you a diagram of how you cast the spell, but that diagram looks like you are supposed to go like that but what you really have to do is go like that you have to sort of rotate it so it's more 3d so it's hard it's it gets pretty hard to cast um and you end up having to try several times to get it right so that's basically that so quit, back to the menu, main menu. Alright, now in practice, master all 14 spells in your arsenal. So hit the pause button below to bring up the spell list. So this is just practicing spells. You can cast one and it'll tell you which one you cast. So. And when you cast a spell, it's got a cool beam. So, this you can cast any spell, and it'll tell you which one you cast. So, that's pretty cool. Um, it's more fun than the learning. And then, main menu. In duel, you play against. So there's the screen explaining the bull duel. So next. So then you can choose single player or multiplayer. Um, I'll just do single player for now. Um, I'll show you multiplayer later. Let's say now this. So someone just cast Petrificus Totalis on me, so my health bar goes down. It's just on a turn-based system. It's pretty fun, um, and then multiplayer is the same, except you're going to play against real people. In house points, at the beginning you'll be sorted into a house by the sorting hat. I think they could have done better by having some sort of question that you'd have to answer, but, um... So wait for that to load.
So this is just the, your player profile. Um, house points. So we're here. Slytherin and Gryffindor have the most. And I'm pretty sure that's for anywhere. So, overall ranking. This is just the high scores. House ranking. So, this is just which are the best. And then back to main menu. And then more games just takes you to a uh, view with all of their games so there's Harry Potter spells ninja assassin wild things you can see all of them here and then in options you've just got music volume sound effects volume change region which changes your location and that's pretty much it. It's mostly a good app. It's fun to play. My only complaint is that they should make the spell casting a little easier because sometimes you'll have to try like 10 or 15 times before before you'll even get it once. So that can be pretty irritating sometimes. Other than that, it's a pretty fun app to play against different people. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Also, we now have our website up. It's www.ipoduplink.com, so go check that out in the sidebar.